Hi, Alex here from developer.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this awesome tutorial where you will learn how you can parse your info playlist file in your code, of course, with Swift 5. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the code. Okay, now what do I mean by parsing an info plist file? Well, first of all, you need to know what the info plist file is, and I bet you do. Uh, it is this file with all of uh, these keys and values. And if you go into your project and select the general, uh, not general, your target and info, you will see uh, some sort of layout of uh, this. Now you might want to get your info dictionary version or bundle version, but today I will show you how you can get all of these plus a custom key value pair. So first of all, let's add our custom key value pair. I would just add in here new key and for the value, I will just type in here developer. Okay, and um, if you wanted to, you can change string, number, date, data, boolean, maybe a dictionary or an array. Now, for dictionaries, I have shown you in a previous episode how you can handle that with a separate plist file. For now, let us just stick to string and you can uh, accommodate mm, this implementation to number, date, data, or boolean, or maybe even for dictionary and arrays. So let's just stick with the string here. And uh, I will create a new file called info plist parser. So yeah, there we go. And inside here, I'm just simply going to create a new struct. And it will be called info plist parser. And inside here, I will just create a static function called, and I will just uh, call it get string value and for key. And let's see, let's name this key. And it will be of type string because the keys are always string values. And uh, we, because this uh, will return a string value, let's add this in here. And um, yeah, that is basically it. We are going to return something. And um, uh, let's return an empty string for now so we can uh, get rid of that nasty error. So let's see, let value equals. So basically you want to get hold of your main bundle. So bundle.main.info dictionary because that's where the info dictionary is. And this is optional. So let's add that question mark there. And we are going to get the key. And of course, because this is going to return a string, we want to make sure that uh, it is as string. And um, of course, yeah, because this will be an optional, uh, let's return first of all value here and guard let unwrap it. So guard let and else, let's have in here a fader error with the message could not find value for key and here we go we add in here the key in the info plist uh, let's see here okay and yeah basically that is it let's see what do we have here uh, oh we want to have guard here okay and that should be basically it. And uh, let's hit Command B so we can see that everything works. And now we can use our info plist parser. And what we will do for this example is just going to print out our value. So let's see, value is, and let's add in here, info, info, info. List parser get string value for key 
And I believe the key was, let's see, what was the key? It was a new key, okay. Okay, let's hit Command R and uh, see this value printed out. There we go, value is rebeloper. Now that is pretty awesome. Now let's add in here a non-existent key and uh, hit Command R and see our app crash at that line. Okay, let's just wait for it and there we go. Fatal error, could not find value for key in the info P list. Great. Now that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Now it is your turn. Go ahead and comment down below. I'm really eager to find out about what you think. Should we add in these key value pairs in the info P list file and of course get them with this uh, neat uh, struct? or could we create a separate plist file for our values? I'm really eager to hear your thoughts about that. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.